All right, <clears throat> that last quest and last video that I did for this game was theoretically the end of Stormblood. Um, we have a quest called the Circus Trench. That's S as in Sam, Y, R, C as in Charlie, U, S as in Sam. Circus, maybe? I like to say that better than circus, so circus. Circus. Given to us by Tataru in The Rising Stones. Let's go. Cutscene. I have had far too much bread today, but I also had crab meat from a can, which was pretty good, actually. Just did butter, um, fresh ground sea salt, and fresh ground black pepper, and then a little bit of thyme as well. And delicious, honestly. I'm going to keep buying those as a, as a nice little treat. Good news, Mercy. We've had a stroke of luck in our search for that beacon. Apparently, our colleagues have stumbled across a hidden path leading down into the hollows around the base of the crystal tower. Excuse me. A path I doubt we'd ever have found had the ironworks and the suns not added their numbers to the party. Thanks to them, we have eager eyes apparent, uh, aplenty down there, checking under rocks and peering into every nook and cranny. Still, it sounds like there's a lot of ground to cover. We better go and give them a hand, or sounds like tedious work, but not as tedious as waiting around. Okay. Then we'd better go and give them a hand. That's my mercy voice. I'm trying to keep consistent. My thoughts exactly. The sooner we find this beacon, the sooner you can travel to wherever it is this mysterious voice is coming from. And the sooner we can work out how to help our friends. We have to find a way to make to wake them up, and before the Empire comes calling again. Meanwhile, we have no time to lose. Sorry, meaning we have no time to lose. Lo siento. <clears throat> this boat, there's a boat in North Silvertier waiting to ferry people to the site, so let's be on our way. Revenant's Toll. Ha, I remember now. The last video I was standing on a large crystal formation outside of this town, which I forgot the name of until just now. It's Revenant's Toll. I, I remembered it before I saw this obvious exit. Just FYI. Stop, leave me alone, I did good. Um, where are we going? Keeper of the, oh, over there, I see, I see, I see, okay. Where am I now? Oh, okay. Why are you making it seem like I should go that way? What, what quest is in Corth, whatever. Flying on our dragon. Passing through the lands that are kind of mostly like barren wastelands, a couple like full grown trees, maybe 30 feet tall, maybe more. They're not like bad, bad, like not a desert, but like a rocky kind of wasteland might be the better. And then we transition into a land of giants, lots of like blue crystal ground and blue crystals growing from the ground, like big, couple, couple, three stories tall, and then also some really, really, really big ones. And, We've come, uh, actually, I don't think I've come here before. Well, we have, because there's a, yeah. St. Coinock Ferryman. Heading to the survey site, madam. It's on the eastern shore of the lake, and the swiftest way to get there is by boat. Yes, take me there. I want to go there. After the bathroom, so this is quick. Tataru, cutscene. Sorry, I should have explained what I was seeing, but we have a the cutscene, we have a giant... Let's really tall stone walls. Hori Boulder, among others, is here. He's the only name I remember with any... For any reason. I don't know why. I like the pirate dude. His name I can't remember. For the spiky, kind of white, blonde hair. Look how many people there are! Should we get to it, then? Pick up anything that seems the least bit device-like, and we'll make ourselves a pile. Well, if it isn't the hero of the hour, maybe you'll change our look. We found bugger all without you. I forgot Biggs was so Irish. Biggs! Wedge! Wedge just waves. Biggs waves also. Aye, aye. Well, we could hardly say no to a call for aid from the Scions. Jesse call it the chief of some other business. Oh, yeah, just... So we'll be working twice as hard to make up for his not being here. Thrice as hard, even. 
Oh, that's Wedge's voice? Come on. Well, it sounds like she got a frog, frog, frog in his throat. It's crazy. <sighs> Thank you, both of you. I'm sure we'll find that beacon in no time. Cutscene flashes to a bunch of our allies looking around in the rubble. I'm not seeing anything out here. Do you reckon you could squeeze in there, Wedge? And get stuck halfway? No, thank you. I could try if you like. Tataru, no! We couldn't ask you to do that. Oh, I'll be fine. This receptionist is not afraid to get her hands dirty. You're way more than a receptionist now, Tataru. Come on, you're like a manager of the entire Scions. And an accountant. Uh, we have walked away and run toward something on the ground that looks Sorry, like... Sorry, I, I meant to say... A gear? The scholars haven't finished their preliminary assessment of the site yet, so we're not supposed to venture too far in. Yeah, Biggs and, Biggs and them caught up. Hmm. What's that you got there? It does look like a gear with a, a symbol. Now on it. that looks promising. Uh, isn't that the ironworks symbol? Counterfeiters? Oh, you get another now, headache. Now I have you. You are right. Well, what's happening? <laughs> okay, Wedge doesn't sound too bad, I suppose. Tara's panicking. Stay with me. Focus on my voice. Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. Wait, this must be it. The device. Oh, this is supposed to happen. Oops. Throw wide the gates that we may pass. Oh, safe journey, warrior of light. Find our friends and bring them home. The screen slowly goes, but not too slowly, to a bright white and then black. And we have a cutscene transition. We are once again in that other space although we're not standing on that big circle diagram there seems to be like falling snow or falling stars that look like snow or feathers winking like blinking in and out and now we're flying through it kind of freaked out we're getting passed by. Oh, do not look at me so. Uh, we're getting fast passed by faces frozen. This is one battle you can't fight. I do your spirit in the council. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this. I think these are all dead, though. The Warriors of Darkness, um, Horshafal. And now we are approaching a big crystal or glowing ice shard. We haven't seen Menphilia in a while, is it her? The screen goes white, bathed in too much light. It's probably not Menphilia based on the hair. There's like this rolling yellowish Your dark time green. has not yet come. It is Menphilia, okay, sorry. And I recognized her outfit, and yeah. Screen goes white again. We're kind of on this like black and white kind of map now. Some ruins. A. The figure of a person that's bathed in just dark, roiling darkness. Yeah. Seems to be walking. Maybe like hidden from us is what is the. Taking very tough steps. Like injured, maybe? has a two-handed axe could be the warrior of darkness and we we focused on him a lot during that yeah it is okay during that traversal through space with all the faces in crystal or faces in probably crystal more than ice blocks screen goes wide again as he looks up we're back to us probably in real time now 
but on our back and looking up at kind of purple leaves and trees lying on what yeah like lying amongst and on like a lot of purple bushes and um, leaves on the ground that are purple and a little purple like grass too and screen kind of flashing bright like having trouble with the light from endless dreams I awake we're up we're walking something vague yet urgent calls me to action once more vague yet urgent Couple birds fly over the trees. There's a Jacobo at a camp with a fire and one person, Imperial garb, it kind of looks like. But we start to walk toward the camp. It is, it does look like Imperial garb. That face looks familiar. He's... Rare to meet someone out here who's not a peddler themselves. What brings you into the wilds this time of night? He's, uh, smoking a bit from a pipe. We look up to the sky, which is... What do you mean, this time of night? Because it looks like day. But it's bright as day. But it's bright as day. <laughs> well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. Me granddad, God's rest his soul, used to tell that one to the barman at kicking out time. <laughs> and when, pray tell, did we last have a dark night? You rotten old drunk, ye, he'd reply. Uh, yeah. He sits down on a stump. Over a hundred bleeding years ago. That's when. <laughs> Drinking from some kind of glass bottle. So it's been a hundred years of this brilliant kind of yellow glowing sky. Hmm. Or more. You got that look down to a T. I'd almost think you meant it. My, like, awe? A-W-E? Ah, got to you, did they? Poor beggar. That explains it, then. He holds out the bottle to us. Looks like a wine bottle. Shake her head. No. Takes another swig. Well, I've roads to travel and wares to sell. But you, you'd best hurry along to the town nearby. The Jacobo... He Just up. head east through the trees and aim for the shining tower. You'll find the place soon enough. Tis the biggest settlement for malms around. He kicks some dirt onto the fire to have the flames go, go out. Go on now, friend. They'll take good care of you in the Crystarium. I have not been able to click, so like, kind of sucks for them to take away that power so that if we need a pause, we can take it. I'm good. I, I haven't had to use the restroom during this time, but still kind of sucks when they take that away. I, I get that they're supposed to be quicker or whatever, but anytime you take that power away after having it for so long in to your life... dizzying heights it rises. The gleaming spire. Its tip threatening to pierce the blinding canopy. There, it will all begin anew, between dark and light, the pure and the corrupt, the one true struggle. Shadowbringers has begun. The D and the O in shadow 
like the bottom ish, the middle ish, bottom ish, right ish, um, kind of like middle ish, right ish, with a little bit, is slashed through and kind of merged with the O that also has a slash in its like middle left top. I cannot mount yet. Great. That's that's that sucks, balls, guys. You shouldn't you shouldn't have made that. But we are running on foot, dumb. Um, past like on a on a on a well worn dirt road, past lots of purple to the left and right of us, purple leaves and flowers and such, bushes, trees. The trunks of the trees are regular trunk color, but all the leaves and, and such are purple. The bushes are like entirely purple as are the flowers have some um, other colors like yellows and nope i approached too close cutscene there halt is a wall made of wood it looks like thick wood we got a bunny person asking us to halt there are those um Stakes like big thick trunks that come to a point at the end, uh, you know, as you know, to to dissuade cavalry charges or whatever. But no trenches, just the stakes. Viera, I think they're called, right? No, are the Viera the ones with the? Every face in this city I know. Yours, I do not. She's supposed to be kind of Russian. Yours, I this is the threshold of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. Her voice could be somebody I know, honestly. From where do you hail? Gridania, the source, or dot dot dot. I don't know what the source is, so Gridania? Gridania. Gridania. Do you take me for a fool? No such place exists. No, oh, well, sorry, but no. Had no. you given me an honest answer, I would not have barred your way. We care little here for a person's place of origin, but instead you chose concealment, and I will not suffer you to pass. Well, okay. She's a dancer. Ha! She pulls out a couple chakrams, which are the the disc-like, kind of donut-shaped, bladed edges, and rushes to take out a, like, white wyvern that was behind us, and it left behind a... That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Ring and all. It left behind on the ground some kind of, like, blue crystal with uh, some gold, like, like, metallic thing around it, underneath it. Oh, the screen flashes white. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it was the ring on that traveling merchant's hand. Ruh -roh. That was the flashback we just got. We saw the, the hand with the ring on it. Everything all right, Captain? Wait, I, I recognize your garb, the white and the red and the black hood. I only see the feet, but it's him. He's got the blue hand. Quite all right, my lord. Just a stray sin eater. And a weak one at that. Sin eater. I see. Weak or not, we should be on the lookout for more. This is called the Crystal Exarch. But he looks exactly like the guy who's been reaching out to us. But I see you've met my guest. Oh. I will escort her to the Crystarium myself, if you've no objections. Another of your mysterious friends, is it? I should have known. Another? Meaning like my scions are here? Hopefully? Very well. I'll inform the others your guest is to be given the run of the city. I'm in charge of a city. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Pray forgive my less than cordial welcome. May the rest of your stay with us be a pleasant one. Come with me. I will answer whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. Cutscene went black. We're uh, we're walking with the Exarch 
Right then, before we plunge into the where's and wherefores, let me first thank you for answering my summons. Kinda accidentally, without much of a choice? I had intended to bring you directly to my personal quarters, but I fear my aim was slightly off. That you are still able to make the crossing unharmed is a great relief. Oh, cool. So I could have been quite harmed. It's nice. And so, we come to the question of where. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards. The first, to be precise, even if its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. As to wherefore, having been awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and your companions. Mm-hmm. Okay. He looks toward the Crystal Tower. Are the other Scions here? Or do you have any idea how much trouble you caused? Ah, that is a question with no simple answer. But all shall be explained in due course, I promise you. Mm -hmm. Let us begin with the glaring skies up above. Sure, yeah. Here sure. in the first, the world has been all but consumed by primordial light. You can kind of see what looks like wavy sky clouds, light piercing through in little columns here and there, but wavy purple, yellows, oranges, like always roiling, apparently. Consumed it began a century ago, primordial by this realm's reckoning. A luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. More than nine-tenths of this star was lost. It reminds me of Final Fantasy XI with the, the darkness consuming things. And the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. I wish I had done a better job of following that particular storyline. Sin Eaters, we call them. The creature you saw earlier was one such monstrosity. It's a widow monstrosity. Oh, it could have... Maybe not a wyvern. It could have been like a an imp kind of creature. It was to save the first from this menace that I learned to bridge the rift between worlds. That I might call upon the aid of the greatest of heroes. And though it meant depriving a world of its champion, I had to try. For in saving the first... You would bring salvation to the source as well. Okay. Uh, but what manner of host harangues his guests in the middle of the road? Let us continue our talk within the Crystarium. Yeah, dude, take me to that thing, place, person. And we follow him into the walls, through the through the gate, and we've entered a sanctuary. Sanctuary. Cutscene again. Long wooden bridge with some metal like arc structures, every few feet, every maybe twenty feet. I don't know. Got concrete pillars that make that form a guard post there's like wood pillars and oh that's that's another bridge never mind indeed there is a large kind of such uh, a proud and vibrant city dome crystal shape and inside the is soul sanctuary for the living in a world all but resigned to oblivion a market of sorts a gathering place. each stone was laid with hope the town itself a symbol a monument to defiance in the face of death. No would-be hero could fail to answer its call. For who among us does not yearn for salvation? These friendly orcs? They look like orcs. The Crystarium. Beautiful place. Lots of lots of color. Gold, filigree, beautiful stone, uh, white stone steps. 
Ah, here we are. Welcome, my friend, to the Crystarium. This is the Crystal Exarch. We got White Oak Weapon Coffer, the item level 385, Shadowbringer's Orchestration Roll, and 21,000 experience points, which is only like 3,000 more than previously, but... Hey! I leveled up, finally. Yay! 71 seems to bring nothing new for Red Mage, so I will switch to Dragoon and start... Oh, you're already 71? I don't want to play Red Mage more. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do Dragoon first. For no particular reason. Um, okay. So, that's the end of this quest. End of this video. Let me do my next plug here. This one is actually brand new. Um, I just added it the other day. It is... What the... Stop it. It is the Spark Pod High Pressure Rain Showerhead. And you want to get the matching 11 inch shower arm extension as well. Trust me. Unless for whatever reason where, where your shower water comes out, you know, the pipe that sticks out of your wall. If it is high enough, I'd say at least a foot above your head, if not more. And if it protrudes from the wall far enough to where if you were to just angle this shower head at like 45 degrees, it would be hitting you from above at an angle that you like. But the shower arm extension only adds, I think, like 11 or $12 to the total. So it was worth it to get that. Um, rainfall shower heads, when they first came out, I was, I was quick to get one. I thought it was a cool idea and they used to like feel more like rain this one is thinner so you'll get kind of a little bit you'll get better pressure and the cool thing about rainfall shower heads is, is the coverage like the surface area that gets hit by water is much bigger than for regular shower heads and that's what I like if you like um, a shower head that can do focused in more intense pressure as if you're getting massaged by that setting which has never really done much to massage me then don't get this one, but this one is great for body coverage, pressure. Um, the arm is fantastic. The link will be in the description. Again, only buy it if it's something that you're interested in getting. But if you use my link, I get a cut, um, a cut of it. And uh, that's it. I will see you next time for the next quest. Bye.